Yo, what's up guys? Chris Spice here. Um, yeah, I decided to make another video because, you know, I got another little um, Swiss Army knife here to review. So I decided, you know what, let's make a review on this. And I've actually been using this one for a while now, maybe about um, two months already. And I can tell you that the knife itself is pretty good. So um, let's review, um, you know, the components on it. See what it has to offer us just you know see what it has because you know i've been using this for a while and it's a very very handy knife i'll tell you that it comes with um a lot of things that you would see on a regular swiss army knife like maybe the bigger ones it all comes in the victorinox mini champ that's what this one is called the victorinox mini champ now um has lots of components as you guys can see there on the side on the other on the other side right here too but yeah let's get straight into this uh so the first thing we got we got the main blade right here here it is sorry it's got fingerprints on it here let me wipe that off real quick there it is the main blade right there you would use to like cut open boxes you know maybe um sharpening a pencil not too crazy of things like you know um you probably wouldn't be able to like you know cut like uh, how would i say like food with it well maybe you can but you know not like i wouldn't really use it for that i mostly use it for like opening boxes you know or like um carving out a pencil you know like to sharpen it but there it is now let's do a little test here let me get a paper <laughs> all right so here's a paper i actually got from my trash bin <laughs> but uh let's test the sharpness of it right here there's one cut now i suck at cutting with these things like on a piece of paper but you know there you go just to see how sharp this thing is it's you know all all victorinox knives are pretty sharp so you got to watch out when operating with these type of knives. But yeah, that's the blade for you guys. Very unique, very sharp and durable. Next up, we got the little, um, this is actually more of like a triple tool. We got a little screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver at the end right here. It's actually magnetized too. So if you're like, um, unscrewing it like tiny little screws they'll actually stick to that which is unique we got a little um wire stripper right here that's what that little um indent is right there then we got a bottle opener now this i don't have a bottle on me right now to open but you know i've done it before and it does legitimately um open bo uh bottles for you guys so <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool because, like, I was like, damn, this little, look, that, that thing can open a bottle, which is pretty cool. It's pretty thick, too. Look at that. Of course, you got the oil on it. it comes with the oil from the factory. Okay, now we got the, um, oh, shoot, wrong one. We got the scissors here. These are very cool. They're, they're pretty sharp too. Here, let's get the paper once again. They do cut. So if you like, you know, need to cut something really quickly, you can use your little um, Victorinox scissors here. Yet again, the Victorinox Mini Champ. I will put a link in the description below so you guys can get yourselves one of these. Um, they're pretty expensive. They're like m maybe 50 bucks, but you know, for what they are, um, they really do come in handy and I've used it lots of times um, for already two months I said and I would say it's worth it it's really worth it because they are durable and it seems like it's like brand new look at that they are durable I'll tell you that but yeah that's that's the scissor component for you guys then right here at the edge right here you pro you're probably wondering what is that well it's actually a ballpoint pen now there is ink in there 
So um, you might want to re reduce the usage of, of, of the pen because it is for maybe I would consider it more for like emergency use, not really like, you know, um, daily use. You know, if you're like an office guy and you're willing to use a pen, I would not recommend this. This is more like a emergency pen. So if you don't have a pen on you, just pull out your little um, Victorinox here and you got a pen on you. But uh, totally works. You might need to get it running a couple times to get the ink out of there. But you know, it works. There you go. Ah, come on, focus. Okay. Look at that. Totally works. Now it's blue ink, as you guys can tell. But yeah, that's the pen for you guys. That's cool. Let's go to the edge right here. And we got the um, classic little tweezers. And yes, the, the toothpick is replaced with the pen. So... I think it is kind of more worth it because, you know, I don't really use the toothpick that much. So I'd rather have a pen on there. But here are the tweezers. If you need to, like, get a splinter out, you know, or need to get something that's really wedged into something. Maybe you're, like, um, working with, like, a, for example, like, if you're working with an RC, an RC car, I'm pretty sure you know what an RC car. I have an RC car and um rocks usually get in it so i need to use like a tweezer to get the rocks out from like the little crevices from like nooks and crannies you just like use these little tweezer tweezers to like you know get rocks out stuff if you have an rc car you know <laughs> you know what struggles i have with the rocks and the car but yeah let's move on to the other side here and we got the little um, cuticle pu pusher. So like your finger here to push in these little things. Or, you know, you could use it for like, um, I think they're like for pill doses, but I don't use it for that. <laughs> um, so far I, ha I didn't need to use this so far. So, you know, it's just there right now. But you know, if you need to use it, I guess it's there. You know, a cuticle pusher, I, I mean, why not, right? <laughs> but that's that not really useful but you know it's there if you need it um we got the little um screwdriver <clears throat> this time it's like a flathead screwdriver not really a phillips and on the other side we got a little um what's it called ah, come on focus man we got a little a uh, ruler there you go we got a ruler i think it's the oil on there we got the, pretty sure that's, um, no, nah, I don't think that's inches. It might be, um, it might be millimeters. I'm not too sure though. I don't know my fucking, my measurement math too well, but you know, I'm pretty sure that's millimeters. I can't tell. But you know. It's there, we got a ruler and uh, the little uh, flathead screwdriver at the tip right here, if you need to use it. Thought that was pretty cool. Have it yet again, uh, haven't used it so far, but you know, like I said, it's there. Then right here, we got the little, um, here, let's get the lighting better. We got the little um, orange peeler. So if you um, somehow don't have any nails, like, you know, short, if you got short nails, and you can't peel open a, an orange. You can use um, this and just like insert it and open it. So um, I think that's pretty useful. Yet again, um, uh, haven't used it. But yeah, I guess I could use it sometime if I need to open a orange. Then we got the little um, letter opener. It's another blade, I guess you could say. It's like, well, it's more of a emergency blade, but you could call it a letter opener. It's kind of got that, like, you know, flat edge. But look at that. It's got, like, the little tip on there. Let's test this one out on the paper to see how good it does. I actually haven't tested this thing yet, so this would be surprising for me. So we got... 
There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. Move to the other side here. It's pretty sharp. Like I said, Victorinox knives are really sharp, so be careful when using them. But yeah, that works pretty well, I would say. Very sharp, very durable. There you go, your little letter opener. Then right here, we got the file and the little... Um, someone pointed that out on my last video of uh, the, the one that had the gold ingot right here. Someone pointed out that this was actually a little, you know, nail pick to like, you know, get the residue out of your nails. So, um, thank you to, uh, I forgot who pointed it out, but you know, thank you if you're watching this video. But, um, there you go, the little, um, nail pick right there, or the little, you know, to get the stuff out of your nails and the nail file. That's pretty cool. But yeah, that's it for the, you know, Victorinox Mini Champ. Oh, can't forget, it comes with a little um, keychain right here. So if you want to put it on your keys, I wouldn't really recommend that. I kind of just like, you know, use it as it is. I kind of just put a little paracord lanyard right here. But yeah, I also made a little case for it. Um, yeah, let's put on the little um, case for it and the lanyard right now. So yeah, we're back. Here it is, the um, paracord case I made for it and the uh, lanyard. Now, uh, I actually looked at a video to make make them both. I didn't really like, you know, go freestyle on it. I'll put a link in the description to those videos too. If you guys want to make uh, your own little um, carrier case for your Victorinox, um, like, you know, your smaller knives, I'll put a link in the description down below and i'm pretty sure he also no he originally originally made one for like you know a bigger victorinox so i guess it would work for you too for like your bigger knives but you know i kind of like like scaled it down you know and estimated what size exactly it would have to be and i actually got it here's a little lanyard i actually made this myself no um no tutorial needed but for the case i actually you know followed a youtube video yet again i'll put the link in the description so you guys can look at it and you know you can make your own paracord um casing for it for like you know your victorinox but yeah that's it i have to show to you guys about the you know the victorinox mini champ if you guys like this little uh, knife review please leave a like share you know hit that bell notification button and uh subscribe i'll try to post more on this channel i know i you know barely post but you know i'll try my best to post um you know yet again i'll do reviews of like you know other stuff you know other other stuff i find cool you know i'll try and do reviews on that so if you, you know i get something cool in the mail you know, I'll, I'll review it. But yeah, um, that's all I have to offer on the Victorinox Mini Champ. If you guys like this video, please leave a like. Thumbs up yet again. Share and subscribe. I'm out for this one. Peace.